So my uh, paper is about attribute extraction uh, from product titles. Uh, I'm currently a data scientist at Walmart Labs. Uh, so attributes are features, specific features of the products, things like uh, brand, product family, model number, uh, that you that basically characterize the product. And since we have millions of uh, products, thousands of attributes across various categories, and hundreds of different sellers, there are different ways in which uh, these products are set up and the kind of metadata that we get along with them. So there is a significant gap between the metadata that we get at source versus the kind of metadata that we need to power our systems. And this is where an algorithmic attribute extraction system comes in. So the main use case for this is populating search filters. So uh, these are the uh, uh, attribute values that you see that are typically populated in the left-hand navigation pane on most retail websites. And after you issue a search query, you can filter down the result set by using these specific attribute values. Now, if this attribute metadata is missing from the original products, when you click on uh, the relevant attribute values, these products are going to disappear from the view, which uh, in turn affects their discoverability and eventually has an indirect impact on uh, revenue. So uh, this is where uh, the attribute extraction system uh, comes in. So that, that's the main use case uh, that we started out with. Uh, second is as a search signal. Um, so uh, attributes are used uh, in order to detect intent from search queries and in order to match that intent to relevant products. Uh, we also need a lot of attributes to power Google and Bing ad campaigns for our products. And um, if, if some key attribute data is missing, then the campaigns get rejected. Some attributes are also required to satisfy government compliance uh, regulations. And finally, uh, the decomposition of a product into attributes and values is the kind of representation that is used by uh, most of the internal systems. So the solution that we have mainly consists of three components. The first is uh, generating the training set. Uh, for a lot of these attributes, we need fairly large uh, training sets and generating them manually would take a lot of time and effort and uh, it has an um, um, direct cost associated. So what we have done is try to leverage uh, the known attribute values and uh, <clears throat> try to generate the training data automatically using regular expressions and uh, domain knowledge. The, the machine learning part here is using sequence labeling algorithms like structured perceptron and conditional random fields. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, some of these attributes that we focus on don't have a fixed list of values. Uh, so new brands may show up every day and old brands may go out of favor. So we'd like our system to be able to uh, discover new values and that's where uh, sequence labeling algorithms help. The other uh, problem that we want to solve is uh, there is a difference uh, given that we have a number of uh, different sellers that host their products on our website. There are uh, different ways in which they might represent the same attribute value. So for example, HP might appear as Hewlett Packard. Uh, there might be typographical errors in the products. Uh, product titles, and we want to standardize all these variations, uh, mainly for the search filters. We don't want to have se several different filters for the same value, but also for use with uh, other internal systems. And so for that, we grow a curated normalization scheme out of the algorithmic predictions. So uh, this is where some uh, manual supervision comes in. The advantages of the system is uh, that it does allow us to discover new attribute values uh, in a principled way. It is easy to scale to a million uh, millions of products. So currently we have the system running um, uh, in production. Uh, we build one attribute, uh, we build one model per attribute, and currently all the models are run on the entire catalog every day. We have about 35 models in production right now. And uh, the system is uh, at a point of maturity where it's easy for anybody to build a new attribute model without um, writing a single line of code. And we can get to very high precision, very high recall models uh, with uh, really small size data sets depending uh, on the attribute. Uh, we, we have models built with uh, hundreds of uh, product titles as well as uh, models which are built with uh, hundreds of thousands of product titles. And finally, we see an impact uh, 
of adding this uh, additional metadata. Uh, we did a counterfactual analysis to see what effect it has on discoverability, and we see impact at the level of impressions, clicks, and in some, uh, in the case of some attributes, even at the order level. Uh, so that's all. I have.